Molly Black. I am the author of a bunch of dark fantasy books, including um, The Spiderwick Chronicles with Tony DiDrolizzi, um, the Modern Fairy Tale series, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, Doll Bones, and the forthcoming Magisterium series with Cassandra Clare. And I am here to talk about my Doctor Who story, which is about the 12th Doctor. So my story is set on a orbital coffee roasting station um, where the doctor has stopped to get a cup of coffee for Clara. And he, uh, it's not the greatest, but it's really, really good. And he believes it will be better than any cup of coffee that she has ever had before. Although he, you know, has a lot of other cups of coffee in his mind that he's had over the years. And he meets uh, a mysterious creature which, whom he takes to help him when a series of murders begin to occur. And so he needs to get to the bottom of it and get his cup of coffee back. I love episodes that are set in the weird future. And so I thought it would be really fun to write an episode or write a story um, like that. Um, one of the things that is so exciting about writing for the doctor is that you can write any kind of story with, all, I mean, almost any setting. It is, a, you know, a wildly flexible universe. Um, and so I got to just put in stuff that I thought would be really fun and um, hopefully uh, a little bit different from some of the other stories in the uh, anthology. Where are we going? Into darkness. Am I a good man? I don't know. There's a lot of darkness in this story and by that I mean actual darkness, the lights keep going out. Uh, and I wanted to do something in a story that you couldn't do in an episode because you can't film an episode in the dark, but you can write a story that takes place a lot in the dark. And so I thought it would be fun to be able to do something um, here that couldn't actually happen on the show. What I really like about 12 is uh, that he is struggling with questions of morality. He's struggling with questions about who he is and what that means. And uh, he's a really interesting doctor. Um, it was really fun to try and figure out how to write him, especially when we know so little about him. I see it in your soul, Doctor. I see beauty, divinity, hatred. So the first, my first, uh, Entry point in, into Doctor Who was actually seeing people um, in the Tom Baker scarves. Uh, one was this guy who was in chess club with me, and I thought he was the coolest guy. He was a senior, and I was a freshman, and he had this enormous scarf. And, um, you know, it's to me, Doctor Who was a program that sort of the, the people who, um, knew about the wider world of science fiction and fantasy, knew about. It was the thing that you um, had to try and figure out how to get episodes of. And um, it was, at that time, not easy. You know, without the internet, um, without television having so many different channels and um, it was just, it was incredibly difficult to seek it out. And um, so it seemed like basically the coolest thing in the world. And when I finally was able to watch the episodes. As a fan, the thing I'm looking forward to with The Twelfth Doctor is more rollicking adventures, more strange aliens, um, more world saving, um, and to see what happens with Clara.